Okay, everyone, so today we're going to be reviewing, not a Transformer, but a Marvel Universe figure. Yes, I'm going to review the Marvel Universe Colossus. Here he is in his packaging. A really nice look at Colossus himself right there in this little window here, along with his accessories that are back there, the figure stand and the little top secret folder. Hammer logo, Colossus. Of course, Marvel Universe with a nice looking picture of Colossus right there. I love that. It looks pretty cool. Turn it back here. You've got an another nice photo of Colossus right up there, along with Marvel Universe behind him. He is, of course, as it says, he is Series 2, and he's number 13. 13, people. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, he's ages 4 and up. 4 and up. And last time I checked, I'm over 4 years old. I'm not sure, but... Last time I checked, I believe I was. You also have a look at some other figures in the line, like Archangel, Juggernaut, and Kitty Pride, along with another Hammer logo. And here, things, yeah, Norman Osborn with um, Become an Agent of Hammer at FuryFiles.com. I'm not doing that. I just like the figures. So, that's it on the packaging, so let's tear this sucker open. This regular blister card packaging. Yeah. So, I'm going to move it comes out. What's this? What is this tape? Uh. Whoa! Um, you try to remove this first, and that happens. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to remove old Colossus here. Get him, or actually, we'll get him to the figure stand first. Now, oh, look at that! Oh, I can already get some of his articulation. All right, so now we have the really nice-looking Colossus figure, which I'm going to angle down and zoom in on. This is a really nice-looking figure. This is the one figure from the Marvel Universe line I am so happy to own. This was the one that I really had my heart set on when I first seen it. And he's having trouble standing, but luckily, we got something for that. His figure stand. Of course, you got Marvel right across there in Boss with the name Colossus, along with the number he is. Now, it says on his packaging, as you can see, he is number 13 in the line of Series 2. That's what this number is for. That's, if any of you don't know, that's what this number is for does, of course, have two pegs, two holes on the bottom of uh, Colossus' feet there, which you can peg right in. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to slide in there. And there we go. So now, he won't try to flop drunk on me. All right. Nice looking figure. I mean, I really love this nice um, metallic, I guess you could say, like this metallic blue that they put all through the figure. I just love that look. That just looks great. And actually, uh, he's got a couple little things on him here that I think I might be able to take. I oh, can't get rid of that. What about you? Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. He has this little sliver of plastic right about there on his leg and a little bit of a paint chip on his, uh, like this little paint splotch on his other leg that has a, um, it's got a bit of red. I tried. I wanted to know. I thought I could probably scrape those off, but I can't. Oh well. But the detail is great. Nice detail in the suit itself. Really nice. Just loving that detail, especially like the little wrinkles to show that it is a suit. The little lines here that are actually in the figure. I think are they? Are they really? Yeah, I think they're actually carved into the figure. That's actually pretty cool. Nice little arm guards. That um, yeah, they're nice little arm guards. Nice little X symbol on his belt there, and I'm sorry, you gotta look at his crotch. The head sculpt is really good looking. That is a really nice looking face sculpt of Colossus. If you look on the box art, though, it does seem a bit different, but not too, not too much. Not too much. Now, in terms of his articulation, his head does rotate all the way around. Tilts up. It tilts up and down, which is really nice. The arms could rotate all the way around, but these shoulder pads are hindering it. They go in and out. He rotates. Does he? Yeah, he rotates. He rotates at the bicep. 
Bends at the elbow, had to crank it. Rotates at the wrist, really nice. Nice little, nice little like ab crunch torso joint here. I really like that one. The legs will go forward. They will go back. But his, um, his, uh, actually they don't really go back that far because his underpants are hindering that. They go, they go in and out about, I think, that far. I don't want to force it. But, yeah, they go in and out about that far. I, I wouldn't really force it if I were you. Is, does it rotate up there? Yeah, had to crack that joint, but it does rotate at the thigh. Bends at two joints at the knee. And the foot has a nice bit of pivot. And it has rotation. Pivot's another one of those joints you got to crack. Yeah, so that is just, this is just a great, 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 great figure. I love it. I'm trying to peg his, yeah, screw this. He does, of course, come with this uh, file here. It says, Top Secret Hammer Logo. So you know, you know this is Top Secret, even though they release it with every single figure. I don't really open these, because the only real thing that it is is just a little, like, card on the uh, guy itself. And a uh, little, like, letter about him. That's really it. And look, this, this, it's just this promotion for FuryFiles.com. I don't really open these. I just stick them in a drawer somewhere and open them some other time. Yeah. So, with that said, I highly, I highly recommend Colossus here. He is an amazing looking figure. He looks great. His articulation is pretty good. If you, yeah, Getting tongue tied here. Let's try again. I highly recommend this figure. He has great articulation. He, he has a great look. At, he's great looking. He looks highly detailed. I mean, they even have like mus muscle deficient. Like, it defines his muscles in here, which is really cool. I really think, though, this is a good figure. It's a great figure to own. Especially if you like Marvel. And mine is apparently drunk right now. Especially if you like Marvel. Or you just like the X-Men in general. I highly, highly recommend this figure. He is a great figure to have. So, hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya!